Today I'm going to take you with me throughout my day at university. I'm a mechanical engineering student. Um, I'm about to go for my run this morning. Let's go for a run, shall we? Shall I see? The first step is always the hardest, but once you take it, you get to be outside in like a beautiful place like this. When I run first thing or do some sort of movement, cardio especially first thing in the morning, I sleep better, I think better, and my studying is generally better. Um, and plus, it makes me happy. One time in this park, they were chased by one of these ducks. Never ran so fast in my life. <laughs> but I hope that won't happen this morning. But yeah, I think that... Four miles complete. That's a good run. Four miles and 30 minutes. The best thing about morning run is that nothing in the whole day is as hard as getting up first thing in the morning and going for a run. <laughs> um, it makes everything else a little bit more easy. Like when I want to study for four hours today, that is easy in comparison to this run. When I challenge my body first thing in the morning, challenge my mind, and my body by going for a morning run and challenging that ability to not be comfortable and seek discomfort so yeah i'm gonna go get myself ready for the day and i'll take you to uni with me see you guys in a bit i'm gonna have my coffee now and i'm gonna head to university say hello to scooby <laughs> This comes with me everywhere. Put it in there. Put my camera here. Put that there. This one right in the pocket. I'm ready to go to university. Let's go. Uh, cycling and my bike with my big old helmet. Uh, it's been a good day so far. It's a lovely day in Manchester. I'm looking forward to studying. I get to university I love it because I'm in the library it's such a beautiful environment and it just really inspires me the first thing I like to do is set up my workplace so I've got all the essentials my notepad my airpods my iPad and then set up I like to start my work session with planning what I want to do with just making a rough plan in my notebook I got this from the book deep work by Carl Newport it's just where you split your day up in blocks. So once I've done that, put my AirPods in and get down to business, get down to work. When I start learning something for the first time, I like to approach it like I've never learned it before. So always ask stupid questions. Don't let your ego get the better of you. Then I try and make it as active as possible. So I use Anki. I over-organize. I have a deck for every module, every sort of lecture. And I make flashcards usually just using image inclusion because I find it the easiest and the quickest junior university period. The most important step though is that after I've made these flashcards from reviewing a lecture is that I review the flashcards. Um, and I'll show you how I do that here. I just tap there, just start reviewing it. It's really satisfying to go over them. With the iPad I sometimes write over it using the scratch pad feature and yeah. Then I go over a structured lecture. I like to watch all my lectures or podcasts or Audible on double the speed because I believe when you listen to something faster, you focus more, so then you comprehend it better because you're more focused, if that makes sense. 
and I have to stop it sometimes, replay it, but that also helps me understand it better because I know where the hard parts are. Um, I've got proper concentrated face here because I was really getting into structures work, really enjoying it, even though I look a bit <laughs> stressed. <laughs> um, but yeah, the biggest step for me is just to make sure that I've got everything in my environment that I need. I sometimes go up and get water. I make sure I put my phone on forest so it doesn't distract me. The best thing about university is that I have a library to help me focus and get into that environment. And yeah, I can't be more grateful for it. So that was my study session. I normally just try and get lunch outside. I like being up in fresh air, listening to an audiobook, just taking every opportunity to learn something. I find audiobooks the best and the easiest to like consume because you can do it whilst you're on a run, whilst you're just eating, or whilst you're on a walk or you're working out, and it's seamless. Really recommend it. I go and head to the engineering building where I do some group work for like two hours. The cool thing about engineering is you always work in a team, it's really social, even though we are quite antisocial. Um, <laughs> and then I head to the gym. Um, I forgot my gym clothes, so in the jeans and black top. I believe in the principle keep it simple, stupid, and how I work out is I do three sets or four sets of three different exercises and each one of those exercises hits my full body so one's a pull exercise one's a push exercise and one's a leg exercise and for me that's normally pull up push up and squat and I do that every single day it normally takes me 20 minutes to get it done throughout the day it's really easy, it's really simple, and I found massive improvement in it. So how do you know where to start? So for me, I started with, I could do maximum 10 pull-ups. So I times that by two, then I did 20 pull-ups every day. And then right now I can do 20 pull-ups in a row. So I times that by two, and I do 40 pull-ups every day. I just built it up through consistently being good, rather than occasionally being great. I've just finished my workout now. I'm going to go to get in a sauna, go in the gym, um, and then I'm going to be finished. Always like to finish the workout with a flex. I've just finished the sauna now, finished the gym, finished the workout, finished the studying, and it's done. It's the completion of this video. Um, the final thing I want to leave with is be consistently good rather than occasionally great. What I mean by that is with it be it being working out or studying. Show up every day. Don't push yourself to a, an absolute limit, but do just enough, enough so you will show up the next day. And that's how I take my days. I could have done a 10 mile run today. If I did that, I wouldn't be able to go for a run tomorrow morning. And I've built up my load. I've built up the consistency of doing these things every day. And then, if you do it, over time, progressive overload comes in with your muscles, with your brain, and you can study for longer and deeper. And then, the results start to increase. So, I'm going to now wrap up, go home, eat, enjoy the rest of the evening with my girlfriend, have a nice weekend, and I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your week. And thank you very much for watching me. If you've got any comments or questions or videos you'd like me to make, I'll make them. I'll see you guys later. Peace.